this video is about variable decla declarations in go so uh, line 1 to 5 you must be already familiar with this by now so let us move on to line number 7 so from line number 7 to line number 11 we see three ways of declaring a variable and we see a keyword var okay there is also a keyword const which is used to declare a constant okay uh, its value cannot be changed var var means it is a variable its value can be changed anytime okay so when we are declaring a variable uh, there are three ways to do that uh, first is uh, var then var is the keyword then name name can be any name uh, variable name uh, and then we have the type of variable okay then after equal to sign we have the expression so expression uh, that returns a value of this particular type okay so this is the first and the uh, most uh, elaborate way of uh, creating declaring a variable now the second way is that if you have or uh, if you do not want to give a particular value at the time of declaring you can skip the expression part okay so you'll just have var the name of the variable and the type of the variable okay or there is a third way in case you want to assign a value to it at the point where it is being declared then there is no point of uh, also giving the type right it is kind of redundant so you can ignore the type and just give the expression so what you need to remember is either you mention the type of the variable or you give the expression from which it can derive the value you can also give both giving both is not a problem but you must give at least one okay either the type or an expression that gives results in a value of that type okay uh, and that is what is explained with these three variables the so first is without type with expression second is type and expression and the last one is there is a type but no expression and when you do not give any expression so the important thing to remember is that in go there are no uninitialized variables all variables are initialized okay so when we are not providing a value it adds the default it assigns the default value of that particular type uh, of the variable so for number it is zero for string it is an empty string for boolean it is false reference type pointers uh, slice as we saw in previous video so for all that it is nil nil okay now let's go on to a way of declaring multiple variables okay so like we have a b c d four variables and the, in the same statement where it is being declared there only we can assign them different values so uh, and it is not limited to the same data type same variable type a is a number a d is a boolean c is a string so we can see that uh, we can assign the values in the same line where it is being declared irrespective of the type and uh, we'll see what it prints soon then we come on to the uh, short variable declarations uh, declarations this short variable declarations only work for local variables what are local variables the variables that are inside a function okay so it only works for the variables that are inside a function for example uh, okay so uh, till now in this uh, main function we have a b c d now in line number 29 we are seeing e equal to 3 so we did not declare e but since we are using this colon and equal to so what happens is that uh, this is called the short variable declarations and what happens is that it declares variable and it assigns this value okay so it is similar to this uh, uh sorry without the type of uh, yeah, line number 30 it is similar to this only that 
uh, it makes uh, it a uh, little bit simpler the variable name colon equal to and then three equal to is assignment operator colon equal to is for declaration okay now you can also do the same thing as above and assign multiple values at the same time for example we have efg and we are assigning it for 34 and true all of different uh, types and e has already been declared f and g are new variables and as i mentioned just now colon equal to is for declaration not for assignment so how can we we put e over here so the thing is that as long as there is one new even one new variable on the left hand side it will not throw error even if you put an existing variable because if you have even a single new variable on the left hand side this colon equal to it will act as an assignment operator for the variables that are already existing which in this case is e and it acts as declaration for the uh, variables that are uh, that do not exist here okay and then finally let us run it and see so we uh, get the values of a b c d okay then we get the value okay so here you can see uh, initially when it was declared we passed 3 but in line number 30 we are passing 4 and the output is 434 true okay so it is working as an assignment operator over here but for f and g 34 and true that is not an assignment operator so that is all for this video